It was just one day ago from this video that I made a video about how to find the Team Go Rocket leaders, Cliff, Sierra, and Arlo, but my encounter was specifically a battle against Sierra, so I wanted to be sure that you guys could see battles with the other Team Go Rocket leaders as well. This time around, I have another screen that you can see here, so to the right, the skinnier screen is my phone with my account, per usual, just like last video, but in the middle is the fatter screen, which is an iPad, and me playing on my dad's account. He doesn't really play on his own account much, so it's practically mine as well, but it certainly doesn't have as good of Pokemon on it as my account. That actually means that you can watch a Team Go Rocket battle here against Cliff on an account that isn't completely pro, optimized, level 40, and all of that stuff. My dad's account is level 36, which isn't bad, of course, but he definitely doesn't have Pokemon of every single type optimized to their fullest extent. So you're seeing on screen, of course, we gathered six mysterious components by beating six different Team Go Rocket grunts, just as you've been doing, but if you're in an eligible city, they'll drop the component pieces which all combine to make a rocket radar device that sniffs out where the Go Rocket leaders are hiding. So just to answer some questions from last video, and I'll have links everywhere for yesterday's video that I keep referring to with Sierra, but some of you asked which city I was in. You can check some of the appraisals, of course, on screen, but I'm in Austin, Texas for this. Now, I also wanted to note that you can see here, I'll make sure to put it up right now, both accounts see the exact same Pokestop hideouts where the leader is hiding, and from my limited experimenting, each time the Pokestop gave my dad an I both the same Team Go Rocket leader. So I went ahead and did a, another battle, a second battle with Sierra on my account there on the right, and I had my dad showcase the fight against Cliff, seen in the middle of this video. So difference here, I changed one member of my team just to see how it could perform with Sierra, otherwise just kept the Machamp and Hariyama. My dad going against Cliff, however, will be using a 100% Machamp, 100% Mamoswine, and a 91% Mewtwo. None of these are fully powered up, Mamoswine is the closest, but still not there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and spoil the ending of my dad's first battle. <laughs> That's the spoiler. My dad actually loses the first match against Cliff. I beat Sierra with my account, no problem, just like in the last video, but obviously we'll see my dad have a rematch with Cliff right after this and we'll see what happens there. So just a good piece of advice, and sometimes I make mistakes in executing this, but try to get your charge attack off after they switch out the first Pokemon. Especially with Cliff, you can beat that first Pokemon easy because it's a Meowth. You really shouldn't need a charge move to finish it off. So hold your charge move and use it on Flygon in this case, but your Cliff could potentially put in a Snorlax or a Sandslash second. The same type pairings that you see in this video could be used for Sandslash, but it certainly would work out well, I guess, if you had a Machamp or just a really powerful fighting type. If your Cliff had a Snorlax as the second Pokemon, because your charge move will be super effective. The problem lies in the Snorlax, of course, having a fast attack that's super effective against your fighting types. So here's a different team on my dad's account. Uh, he lost that first battle, and let's see if he can pull off a victory against Cliff here. We do have a 100% Machamp, a 100% Articuno, and then a Heatran at 89%. Now these are actually, some of these are less powered up, you know, probably couldn't match the team that he had, but it's all about the typing, and some of this advice that I'm giving you, of course, can play a hand and affect things. What happened in the last battle he had was that his Mamoswine fainted very soon after the Torterra, Cliff's last Pokemon, was sent out. He had a Mewtwo go up against it, but it wasn't a good good matchup really, and that Mewtwo also wasn't powered very much, so Heatran is literally placed there for the Torterra. Keeping types in mind is just so important on these Go Rocket fights. So you're gonna watch that play out right here. Now let me just uh, try to quickly answer some questions that may be out there, rapid fire style. You get a guaranteed component piece when you defeat a Go Rocket Grunt until you have six to combine together. Your rocket radar stays with you until you defeat the Team Go Rocket leader. If you fight a Grunt while you have the rocket radar, you won't get component pieces, so it must be used before gathering another six again. And should it need to be said, you will have to collect a new six of them after you beat a Team Go Rocket leader, if you want to have another battle with them again. As of this very moment recording, these leader battles are only in some, like, five or six cities in the world right now, but they did put out a post on their website and Twitter that make me kind of believe it will be happening worldwide very, very soon. So you guys can look forward to this soon, I think. Like, maybe even as you're viewing this now. So good on my dad, everything worked out. Now, he was down to his last Pokemon, the Heatran. It actually kind of had low HP as well. He came out victorious. You notice with the battles with Sierra that were on my account, which is level 40, optimized, and lots of Pokemon are fully powered up and all that stuff, I easily had two Pokemon still waiting, you know, so that was a lot easier battle. Maybe it's Sierra, but maybe it's also me and my account's makeup and everything, so the battles could be different dependent on some of those factors. Remember the typings, and I will catch you guys on the next video. 
and thanks for viewing.